of the main reasons why people want to get married and cohabit is for sexual intimacy. Sexual intimacy is very important in marriage. It gets to a point in people's lives that sexual urge increases and if not checked or properly managed, leads some people to immorality or crime, which can result in a lot of outcomes, including derailing careers or untimely deaths. In simple terms, one of the reasons why people get married is to avoid sexual immorality. Based on a lot of factors, including human differences, reluctance to learn and shyness associated with sex education, you find that couples have different understandings of sex. When it comes to sexual intimacy, we are referring to both sex and love making. Many things are involved in sexual activities, starting from what the eye sees. Research has it and experience has shown that men respond to sight, what they see. Attractive nightwear is advisable for women. Dress in such a way that your husband will find you appealing. Sexual intimacy involves spoken words. If you want to be intimate with your partner later in the day, for instance, ensure that the seconds, minutes, and hours leading to that time have been filled with kind, tender, and loving words. Most people do not understand this. You cannot be unkind, rude, nasty, or quarrelsome to your spouse and expect a romantic atmosphere in bed. It's not possible. Research has also shown that women respond to words a lot. What they hear. Say nice things to your wife. Touching also matters. Kisses, caresses, and engaging in foreplay, giving each other maximum attention is also important. You cannot be making love and be answering phone calls. No, no, no. Couples must learn that lovemaking is serious business. It's like cooking and eating a well-prepared meal. You have to cook it well, and you have to eat it well. No half measures. Cooking it is the planning, including personal hygiene of taking a shower, brushing your teeth, using good roll-ons and good perfumes. Eating it should be slow and steady. Don't rush it. Make up your mind that both of you must enjoy it. Sometimes and unfortunately too, it is rare to find couples who are sexually compatible in all material aspects of sexual intimacy. A partner may prefer a certain style and position while the other may not want that style or position. A partner may want sexual intimacy more frequently than the other partner. For example, the wife may prefer sex three times a week, but the husband may want it every day. The wife may want it in the evening before bedtime, but the husband may want it very early in the morning. Most men wake up early in the morning with early morning erection. Most of them too want adventures of having sex in unconventional places like the kitchen, the stairway, bathroom, car, garden, and park, which makes their wives uncomfortable. Sexual incompatibility sets in when either party is unable to satisfy the other's set drives and advances. As a result of this sexual incompatibility, you find instances where one partner feels irritable, frustrated, resentful, and rejected. Friction then sets in, which sometimes lead to infidelity. In most divorce cases, irreconcilable difference is cited as the reason or part of the reasons. When in actual fact, the issue is sexual incompatibility. So what do you do when you are sexually incompatible with your spouse? The challenges can be resolved by honest heartfelt communication between you and your spouse. Talk about it in a friendly and willing to adopt manner, rather than complaining, whining, and being confrontational. Keep an open mind. Tell each other what you want and how you want it. 
Both of you must be willing to learn and practice to do those things. Life is about learning, unlearning, and relearning. Research, read books, watch videos together, like this one, and gain value. Kindly like, comment, and share this video with friends and family.